One of the most important public policy debates that we've had in California over the last several years has been the continually escalating cost of our state prison system and the accompanying controversy in which a federal judge had actually ordered the state prisons to begin releasing prisoners if they had not taken steps to provide better health and medical care for them while they were, while they were incarcerated. So there are two initiatives on the ballot now, Propositions 34 and 36. Proposition 36 softens the three strikes law in California. Uh, right now, critics say that it's too tough because it allows prosecutors to seek 25 years to life prison sentences for offenders, even if their third strike is relatively minor, like shoplifting, car theft, uh, or small drug possession. Currently, the law says that if a criminal's first two strikes first two crimes are serious or violent, then the third doesn't have to be violent in order for that person to go to prison for 25 years to life. So you see quite a few stories in the news media about people going to prison for very long times for stealing a pizza or a bicycle or something like that. Proposition 36 supporters say their attempt to amend the three strikes law is the most moderate yet in the last 15 years. Um, under the proposition, if an offender um, an offender must have two strikes, two serious or violent felonies, and if one of those, at least one, is either a murder or a rape or some kind of child molestation or sex crime, then they would not be eligible for the changes that Proposition 36 would make. In other words, they could still be sent to prison for 25 years to life, even if they committed a relatively minor felony. For almost 20 years now, Californians have rejected any effort to change. Three strikes and you're out. They want to make sure that someone who commits these crimes is in jail for a long time. Right now, it looks like Californians are having a second, uh, second thoughts on that issue. The support for Proposition 36 is now running at about 63% compared to 66% last month. And opposition is 22% compared to 20% last month. But in the grand scheme of things, those numbers shift is not very large. And the proposition looks like uh, roughly two weeks before the election uh, as though it's going to pass. It has widespread support from across the political spectrum. Uh, more than half of conservatives say they support the, the proposition that would amend the three strikes law. Similarly, Californians are uh, considering the abolition of the death penalty in California. And right now that's a much tougher sell to them. While Californians do seem willing to tweak the three strikes law, in order to save costs and uh, take uh, a certain number of prisoners out of state correctional facilities. They're much more mixed over the question of the death penalty. And right now the polls are actually fairly close as to whether Californians would abolish the death penalty in the state or not. Those who support Proposition 34 now uh, are at about 42 percent compared to those who are against at 45 percent, which is virtually a statistical dead heat. You've got two different issues here, both on public safety one three strikes and one death penalty. On one of them, Californians seem to be fairly cost conscious in changing the way three strikes is implemented. On the other, the death penalty really does carry a visceral uh, resonance with them, and that one looks much less likely to be changed.